Palmer erythema is a symmetric, non-painful, non-puritic, slightly warm, non-sculling erythema, which most frequently involves tenna and hypotenna surfaces of the palm. The reason why erythema most commonly develops on palms is that palms have high density of arterial venous shunts. Because the major event in pathogenesis of palmar erythema is vasodilation of the capillaries and superficial arterial and venous plexi, obviously the higher the amount of blood vessels, the more prominent will be the effect of vasodilation, and thereby the more prominent will be the erythema. So to explain this, here we have two same skin colors. Normally, we have a lot of blood vessels as capillaries or arterial venous shunts that supply blood to the skin, and this gives skin some mild reddish tint. But in some conditions, as liver cirrhosis or pregnancy, metabolical changes can cause erythema of the skin. In liver cirrhosis, the concentration of sex hormone binding globulin decreases. In pregnancy, estrogen production increases. Both these events cause increasing amount of free estrogens in the blood, and free estrogens stimulate vascularity, and also they induce vasodilation of the blood vessels. And if the amount of blood vessels increase, and vessels will become more distended, this will cause increasing blood delivery to the palms, and with increasing blood inside the vessels, the tint of the skin will be more reddish and exactly this state we call palmar erythema. So, there are two major factors in pathogenesis of erythema. First of all, it's increase in vascularity, because with increasing the quantity of blood vessels, blood inflow to palms increase, which is logical. But also, vasodilation plays crucial part, because we know that blood flow is equal to pressure difference divided on resistance, and resistance is inversely proportional to the force power of radius. Estrogens induce vasodilation. With vasodilation, radius increase, resistance decrease, and with decrease in resistance, blood flow increase. And increasing amount of blood in the blood vessels that supply palms will cause erythema. The most common pathological condition that is associated with palm erythema is liver cirrhosis. We know that chronic liver damage can cause hepatic dysfunction. With hepatic dysfunction, the production of sex hormone binding globulin decreases, and this causes increase in serum estrogens that will shift the estrogen testosterone ratio. And increase in estrogens manifest as palmar erythema, genicomastia, and vascular spiders. Important that palmar erythema can occur in any disorder that causes liver cirrhosis. It can be alcoholic liver disease, it can be Wilson disease, etc. But the problem is that because palmar erythema is caused by increase in free estrogens, any condition that causes increase in free estrogens can cause palmar erythema. So it's a non specific sign. But the most common physiological condition that can cause palmar erythema is pregnancy. The reason is that placenta during pregnancy produce huge amount of estriol, and estriol as any estrogen causes vasodilation of the blood vessels. This can manifest as spider angioma or palmar erythema. Also interesting that most commonly palmar erythema is absorbed in Caucasian pregnant females. And once pregnancy is over, usually palmar erythema disappears. <laughs>